Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in this video you will learn how often and when you should use the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution. And I get this question quite often and therefore I want to create this specific video for you guys and hopefully by the end of this video you're also able to understand it a bit better. Now I want to get started with the main information and then also hop into some examples so that I can also like easily demonstrate you how you can also do it. Now first of all it is important to understand that the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution is a leave-on exfoliant that can help you to exfoliate the skin. Which means when you're applying it, leave it on the skin. There's no need to rinse it off after 5 or 10 minutes. You're going to leave it on the skin and then move on to the next like products that you also want to use in that specific routine. Then it's also to, like, important to understand what it actually does. Now, first of all, as I already mentioned, glycolic acid is also an exfoliating acid. So what it basically does, it also can help you to exfoliate the skin. Now, usually by nature, your skin is going to exfoliate itself already so that you always will see the new skin underneath. So if there is any like that skin cells, they are going to flake off anyway. However, due to certain like points such as sun damaged skin or in general damaged skin, also when getting older, this um, like function can also become faulty. So this means that your skin needs a bit of help from something external to also exfoliate the skin. Otherwise, you can come across dry skin, flaky skin, dullness, an uneven skin tone, maybe also clogged pores that can also lead to breakouts and blackheads. So then you also need to help your skin to exfoliate itself again. And so this can basically start at any age. This also depends on how good your skin is going to work. Some people do not need to use an exfoliant, whereas others really need it and it can also show a difference. And it doesn't have something to do with the age, generally speaking, because it depends on the skin itself. However, you can always go ahead and say, let's go with a 15-year-old girl that wants to use glycolic acid in the routine. Well, how often should she use it? Well, first of all, this depends on her skin, because at a young age, you can still have also sun damaged skin, depending also on how you also took care of the skin. However, you can say that if you're already a bit younger, since your skin is still uh, younger as well, it may not need to use it as often than someone with damaged skin and also being older. So you could go ahead and say that if you're younger, you may want to use it less often than someone that's older. But you also have to consider certain factors. And this is also really important. So when someone is going to ask me how often should I use glycolic acid, well, you have to figure it out. You have to see how your skin is going to respond to it and based on that, you're going to adjust it. Some people like to use it only a few times during the week, whereas others have no problem to also use it daily. And there's no right and wrong because not everyone has the same skin issues. So that's something that you have to understand. However, if you're new to, let's say, the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution and you want to get started, but you're not sure how your skin is going to respond to it, you may want to start off slow and use it two to three times per week. See how your skin is going to respond to it. Um, if there you can already see irritation happening or it doesn't feel as good, then reduce it. Maybe only use it once or twice per week. Whereas others can say, yeah, I can use it without a problem two to three times per week and over the time you may want to use it more often. So you can also change it depending on your skin needs. So there's no right and wrong on how often you should use it during the week. Figure it out. See what works best for your skin. This is one point that I want to clear up since I get this question quite often. Now there's also another point that I want to talk about and this is also what glycolic acid actually is. Now, glycolic acid is also an acid that can help you to exfoliate the skin, to loosen any of that skin cells so that they are going to fall, like basically fall off to reveal new skin underneath. And it also goes under the category of an AHA, an alpha hydroxy acid. Now, alpha hydroxy acids such as glycolic acid or lactic acid or mandelic acid those are all leave-on exfoliants from the ordinary that I just showed you. And those are also um, exfoliating acids that are coming under the category of an AHA, an alpha hydroxy acid. Now those are suitable for people with dry skin, with sun damaged skin. 
since it can help you to basically get rid of any like dead skin cells that are basically sitting on top of the skin surface to also reveal the new skin underneath. It also can help you to give you some anti-aging properties plus also to increase the hydration within your skin. And it also can help you to smoothen the skin texture and to brighten your skin tone. Now it is also going to be less suitable for people with sensitive skin that are also prone to breakouts and blackheads since then it also can feel a little bit irritating on the skin. So those are points that you have to keep in mind to also understand if you're choosing the right acid for your skin concerns. And so now that you also know the main information that it is a leave-on exfoliant, that it depends on your skin concerns on how often you're going to use it during the week, now we want to move on to when you should use it. Like when do you need to also include it in your skin routine? And also after what step are you going to use it? This is also really important. And I want to talk about what you can also do and what you should avoid to also avoid skin irritation. So let me get started with also an example skincare regime. And this is what it could look like. So this could be your morning and or evening skincare, like skincare routine. Starting off with your first step, which is a gentle cleanser. Then move on you, like to your toner if you have one. Then move on to your exfoliant, in this case the glycolic acid. Then move on to your serum. Then your moisturizer. And lastly, your sunscreen only during the day. You don't need to use a sunscreen in the evening. Now here you can see the steps. Your leave-on exfoliant is going to be your third step after your toner. If you're not going to include your toner, you want to skip the toner part, then it's going to be your second step after your cleanser. This is really important to understand. And then move on to the rest of your routine. Now let me also give you some um, ordinary glycolic acid dozen and don'ts. So I want to keep it fairly short and give you immediately with those little images some great examples. Okay, so this would be the correct order of application. You're going to get started with a gentle cleanser. This is important. And I'm going to pick the ordinary squalane cleanser. Then move on to your second step, which is your toner. In this case, I picked a Paula's Choice and Rich Calming Toner. Then move on to your third step, which is your leave-on exfoliant. In this case, the ordinary glycolic acid 7% toning solution. And then move on to the rest of your routine, such as serums, if you like to include them, your moisturizer and sunscreen in the morning. Now, there are certain points that I want to talk about, which are really important to understand. First of all, when including a leave-on exfoliant, such as the ordinary glycolic acid 7% toning solution, it is important to also include a gentle cleanser meaning a cleanser that does not include AHA or BHA. You can get cleansers that include glycolic acid, salicylic acid, or maybe also lactic acid. Please avoid those cleansers. It is important to keep it gentle when using a leave-on exfoliant in your skincare routine to also avoid skin irritation. Make sure to also choose a cleanser that's suitable for your skin type and needs. Then moving on to the second step, which is your toner. In this case, you can see that the toner is different from the exfoliant. Now I get this question quite often where people um, are basically talking about that maybe glycolic acid is like a toner because it says toning solution on it. But it's not a toner. It still is going to be a leave-on exfoliant. So please do not think that the ordinary glycolic acid 7% toning solution is a toner. It is not. It is an exfoliant which means you're going to use it after your toner. Now, usually I would say that a toner is optional, which it still is, it is optional. However, it can be very beneficial when also using a toner before applying your exfoliant. Depending also on the cleanser you've chosen, you want to then move on to your toner. Toner can help you to bring back the skin balance, so basically to also replenish the skin, to also give back what it's really needed, so that when also applying the exfoliant on top, it's not going to be as harsh. Since when skipping the toner, you may experience that the exfoliant is going to feel a bit more harsh on the skin than when including a toner. It's kind of like a protecting shield, but still also acts like um, like the toner is basically, the function of a toner is like it's going to protect the skin before moving on to the exfoliant. 
So therefore, if you want to include a toner, which I can recommend, this is going to be your second step and then move on to your leave-on exfoliant. So this is going to be the correct order of application. Your glycolic acid toning solution is not a toner. Now here you have an example what you should not do. And this is also using, for example, two exfoliants in the same, in the same routine. So you have step number one, your cleanser. Step number two is going to be your ordinary glycolic acid toning solution. And then you would also move on to lactic acid. If you're going to do this routine, this is going to feel so irritated on the skin. And this is also where people think that the glycolic acid is going to be your toner. It's not. So please only choose one of them. Only go with the glycolic acid toning solution or lactic acid as your exfoliant. And choose a separate toner that's soothing that doesn't include AHA or BHA acids. This is really important to understand. So please do not do this routine. And also do not use in the same routine glycolic acid with mandelic acid or like both lactic acids, 5% and 10% in the same routine. Since those are all acids that are going to exfoliate the skin, you don't want to irritate or over exfoliate the skin. You want to remove the dead skin cells, but still also keep your skin at bay so that it doesn't feel irritated. So go ahead and do this order of application where you're going to include a soothing and calming toner in between, but please do not use two exfoliating acids in the same routine. Please keep in mind, this is correct, this is fine, but do not do this. This is really important to understand. Then I want to move on also to something that um, people have already asked me as well, and this is when it comes to the ordinary peeling solution and the ordinary salicylic acid mask. Now the ordinary peeling solution does also include 30% of AHA and also 2% of BHA, which is salicylic acid. So sometimes people aren't sure what they can use after the peeling solution and therefore I also created an example routine which you can see right here. Again, this is the correct order of application when including, for example, the ordinary peeling solution or the ordinary salicylic acid mask. You're going to get started and wash your face with a gentle cleanser. Again, keep it gentle. It should be a gentle cleanser. Then you're moving on to the ordinary peeling solution mask or the salicylic acid mask. Rinse it off after 10 minutes with water. Then move on to your toner. Again, a toner that replenishes the skin. It shouldn't be a toner that includes glycolic acid, lactic acid whatsoever. It should be a soothing toner, not an exfoliant. And then you can go ahead and move on to your serums if you like to and your moisturizer. So it's really important to keep this in mind. Please do not use glycolic acid after the peeling solution. This is what you should not do because this can be very irritating on the skin. Please do not use glycolic acid, mandelic acid or lactic acid after the salicylic acid mask or the peeling solution. Do not do this. This is going to irritate the skin. Do this application instead, which also feels soothing and can be very beneficial. Now I also want to talk about something which really only applies if you should feel the need and this also depends on your skin concerns. Now I haven't talked about BHA which is salicylic acid and I have one in front of me which is also the one from Paula's Choice, the 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. The ordinary has a salicylic acid solution but it's currently not available therefore I want to give you the example with the Paula's Choice BHA. Now BHA is basically beta hydroxy acid that's what it stands for and it's also salicylic acid which is more suitable for people with sensitive skin for people that have oily skin that have acne prone skin that are suffering from blemishes and whiteheads so if you basically have congested skin then you're going to use the bha it also can help you if you have also rosacea prone skin and it's going to remove the dead skin cells on top of the skin surface, but also within. It's going to clean deeply the pores as well as the dead skin cells that's leaving on top. So it's going to do the two in one. And it also has some anti-inflammatory properties. 
So if your AHA, based on what it's meant for, is not suitable because you're suffering from different skin concerns, you may want to consider using a BHA. And basically just do the same thing that I just demonstrated with glycolic acid on that what step you're going to use it, since it also is going to exfoliate the skin. And the one that I'm using right here from Paula's Choice is also a leave-on exfoliant. So again, you don't need to wash it off, you're going to leave it on the skin. So it's the same step, as well as it does kind of like the same thing than glycolic acid. It just also um, is suitable for people with different concerns. So it's also important to know your skin concerns and based on that you're going to pick the right chemical exfoliant for your skin. Now, can you use those two together? Can you use an AHA, such as glycolic acid or lactic acid, in the same routine when using BHA? Yes, you can. However, this depends on your skin. And you can also go ahead and use it, for example, like this. Start off with a gentle cleanser. Again, it's really important to use a gentle cleanser. Then as your second step, you want to move on to your toner. Make sure it's really a toner. Then you're moving on to your first exfoliant, which is going to be maybe your AHA or BHA, you can do it vice versa. Then move on to your second exfoliant. So your first is going to be AHA, your second one is going to be a BHA. It can also be the other way around. And then move on to your serums and your moisturizer if you like to. And don't forget your sunscreen also in the morning. Now I do want to mention that this is going to work, however this depends on your skin on your skin concerns in general. If you aren't sure if you should pick both, you may want to get started slowly before using them in the same routine. You may want to use, for example, the BHA in your morning routine, don't forget your sunscreen, and your AHA such as glycolic acid in your evening skincare routine. Or you may want to alternate between them. Use the BHA on Monday, then your AHA on Tuesday, BHA on Wednesday. So you can either use them in separate routines or alternate days. Try this out for a while. And if you see that your skin responds well to it, you may also be able to use them in the same routine. I do want to be very specific about it. Please do not go ahead grab both products and use them immediately after each other if you've never used any of those acids before. Because this can really irritate your skin. Sometimes your skin needs also time to also adjust to certain products before you can use them in the same routine. This is also going to be the same case with using an AHA or BHA in the same routine. So please keep this in mind. Start off slowly, use it every other day, alternate between those two before using them in the same routine. And then if your skin can tolerate it and you can use them in the same routine, it can be very beneficial. Since sometimes you may also suffer not only from sensitive skin, but you may also have dry sensitive skin. You may also suffer from um, dry skin can also have some breakouts as well as blackheads and blemishes right here. So having, for example, such skin concerns, you may want to balance it between those two. And then it also can become very beneficial. However, make sure to start slowly, introduce the products properly into your skincare routine before using them in the same routine. This is really important to understand before going ahead and get right into it. Now, this is basically what I mainly wanted to break down. I do also want to emphasize that AHA, such as glycolic acid, lactic acid, mandelic acid or BHA, such as the salicylic acid exfoliant, can make your skin sensitive to the sun. Since it's exfoliating your skin, it's going to reveal the new skin underneath, which is still a bit more sensitive, so you have to take care of it. What's important is that you also do not skip your sunscreen during the day, to really make sure to protect the skin. Not only if you're maybe also suffering from hyperpigmentation, you don't want to make your hyperpigmentation worse, so you're going to protect the skin, but also when including an exfoliant, protect the skin with a sunscreen as well so that you also can take good care of it and that it also will only show you improvements and not make certain situations worse. That's also important to understand. You don't need to use a sunscreen in the evening, only during the day, basically also in your morning routine. 
So this is also what I wanted to break down. I do hope that with the examples that I have shared with you, with the example routines, you are now able to understand how you can use the different exfoliants, such as mainly also the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution in your routine, how often you can use it and when you should use it. So this is what I wanted to share with you. If you like it, please also don't forget to give the thumbs up as well as share it. And I will see you soon in the next one. Happy skin caring. Bye.